All right, I have a confession to make. This is actually the first jet pump I've ever worked on. So learning as I go. Turns out that the shaft seal sleeve supposedly is not supposed to spin on here. It's supposed to be under tight. So we're going to go ahead and press the bearing off and see what's going on underneath there. And uh, from the last video, uh, a couple quick words on this uh, clearance between this impeller collar and this wire ring. I'm hearing that uh, you can run that quite a bit tighter if you have a racing application. Um, I read the manual over and over and I, I still come up with 25 thousandths clearance between the collar and the wear ring. And to me, if that's centered, it would be 25 thousandths. But again, if you want it tighter, it sounds like you can run those tighter. Here I've temporarily fit the shaft back into the boat and taken a good look. There's basically no room between that shaft seal sleeve and this housing. So, in the back. Here's a front look at this thrust bearing housing. You can see there's no machine groove back here. There is a machined notch here and a bevel there. So unless the seal goes there, I, I really fail to see where it's gonna go. So we're gonna get to the bottom of this here. I'm not gonna take the snap ring off. Oh, it just slides right off. Okay, the snap ring is removed. And boy, they didn't want to fit there. And either one of those items. All right, so here's the shaft seal sleeve, I think. And it actually looks like there's a bushing on the inside of this. So I'm not 100% sure what's going on there. Um, hopefully my parts guy can hook me up with that. And here's a shaft. Uh, it's really clean where the uh, sleeve is supposed to ride, but there's actually some scoring where the uh, bearing goes. Not looking good there. When I might get out, I'm getting... I'm getting about 1.378 where that bushing rides. And inside of the bushing is about 1.379. Here it's about uh, 1.38. So thousands clearance there. And where the sparing goes, I'm getting about 1.377. And the inside of the bearing, I'm getting about 1.379. Definitely no press fit there when you can uh, slide it right onto the, the surface where it's supposed to go.